Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the creepy basement and um, I have some packages that I would like to show you uh, I haven't bought it myself I actually got it from my cousin he bought it and gave it to me he gave it to me to um, to have a look at it, it has been opened the package has been opened <clears throat> it would be really embarrassing if uh, this was his uh, newly ordered Swedish vibrating Bluetooth butt plug right it's a battery analyzer and it's for automotive batteries like 12 volt batteries we're gonna see how this works let's see what's in it so there's some paperwork uh, It's a couple of pages of manual, nice. And there's a bag with a battery analyzer. Not much to it, and it's it has it's some kind of a testing thing right there. Somebody has approved something. That's probably a good thing. And it has a fairly long wire. It's not that bad. These feel really good actually, there's some strength to that. You could almost train your, your fingers with that. Let's get rid of the package and see the manual here. Mm. Okay, there is a picture with some, some numbers that indicate what, what is what. And down here on the display, there's some selection of battery types, voltage, the internal resistance of the battery, and cold cranking amp is what CCA stands for. Over here, there's kind of like a scale of when uh, automotive battery, 12 volt battery is over 12.7 volts, it's considered full. And 75% is 12.55, 50% is 12.3, 25% is 12.15, and below 11.9, it's discharged. Okay. Uh, there's something about battery internal resistance, and uh, it says that cars. This is meant for testing a battery if your car can start. And they say that the, the battery should have an internal resistance below 10 milliohms. Uh, except if it's a mo motorcycle, then it's 15 mi milliohms. So, okay. And there's an explanation on cold cranking amps. I didn't know that. But cold cranking amps is measured at 0 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's minus 18 degrees Celsius. That's that's cold and if the battery doesn't tell you what the cold cranking amps is you can take the amp hours and uh, multiply that by seven and that's an indicator of the cold cranking amps and I'm probably getting boring so we're gonna wrap this up prepare working test yeah, and this is operation and yeah, how to select the difference. We will see that in the video. Um, this tester is for 12 volt only. Don't store the, the device at high temperature or high humidity. Uh, working voltage is between 9 volts and 15 volts DC. Not 24 volts. And if you're testing it on a car that has just been running, leave the headlamps. Heat. Leave the headlamps on for three to five minutes to get rid of the top voltage. Okay, that's the manual. That's cool. And we have some batteries. Let's get the device. And right over here, I have a battery. This battery has has been having a desulfator on. I've disconnected it to make sure that the measuring will be correct. Uh, you connect the plus lead to the plus over here and the minus to the 
We'll just get this in view so we can see what happens when it. How did that this get so entangled within? Okay. I can't see anything. It's complaining. Okay. So when we connect the battery, it wanna know the battery type. And that's normally written on the battery somewhere. And what I'm actually just looking for is one of these types. If if those letters are on there somewhere. It's actually right there. It's behind the the minus leads, it says that this is a VRLA battery and that's one of the numbers up here. So we will select that. Apparently that's the top one. Okay, enter. And then there's some other, I'm not sure what that is anyway. But I found that this says EN up here after the that's actually the cool cranking amps right there and it's when this was produced uh, in Germany for Mercedes they said that this battery should be able to deliver 760 cold cranking amps and it says A EN so that's the EN thing down here so we're gonna select EN and press enter and it comes up tells me how good this battery is it, it comes up with the voltage and it's 12.8 and if we take the if we take the manual take the manual it's higher than 12.7 so this means that this battery is fully charged it's uh, four. The internal resistance is 4.48, which is also good. It's way under the 10 milli ohms that should be good for starting a car. And the cold cranking amps is 565 on this battery. It's not new, but it's still pretty good. It's not that bad. So that's uh, definitely a keeper. Let's go test some more batteries. Well, next battery, it's a Bosch. I have been looking at this and I was not able to find the, the type of battery for the first uh, thing, if it's a AGM or slash VRLA, or if it's an MF slash WET. Uh, it doesn't say. So I think I'm just gonna select the same thing as before because I know this is one of the batteries that is not really meant for maintenance. Uh, so let's just try that. And this one is also an EN. So we'll take EN. Enter for that. And this battery is considerably uh, worse. It says 12.2 volts, which means that this battery is somewhere between 25% and 50% charged. So we we'll probably need to, to do some recharging on that. It has 275 cranking amps. And down here it says that this battery should have 600. So this is under half. And it has an internal resistance of 8.46 milliohms. And also that over here it says that um, this is probably the voltage showing that this battery is somewhere beneath half full. Yeah, it can be hard to see on the camera, but yeah, this battery is doing considerably worse. That might be a battery that is uh, worth looking at. All these batteries I am planning to use for my 48 volt battery bank. So I'm not gonna throw it out, but I would probably not put it Next in Next little battery, and I have no idea because this doesn't really say anything about what this is, but um, it's, it's, yeah, I think it's like a, a maintenance-free battery and 
that's probably the, the top one. And just to compare them with the other battery, I'm just going to select EN again. Let's see what it comes up with. It comes up with 12.65 volts, which is almost good. It has 245 cranking amps and it has an internal resistance of 9.43 milliohms. This is a considerably smaller battery. It's probably it's only half size of this one, of the Bosch one. So, but apparently it delivers almost the same amount of power. So, I wouldn't. I think this is probably a good one. Okay, I brought you into the the battery bank, or where all the batteries are sitting for the battery bank. And well, I wanted to test all of the batteries. So that I know if I have some really bad ones, because I actually have the option of exchanging. I'm really good friends with my mechanic, where I get my car fixed. And if I have a bad battery, I can bring it back to him and I'll get another bad battery. But it might be a lot better than the bad battery I got. So I'm gonna test all these and um, see the worst ones and probably bring that back. Okay, I went through all the batteries and right now I'm on this one just to show you the result. It's 12.4 uh, volts, about, what is that, 60-70% charged. It has 230 cranking amps, which is probably okay for a little battery like that, and about 10 milliohms. Or internal resistance. I found this one was really bad and I want to just show you that one. So I'm gonna connect to this one <clears throat> and it's one of the batteries that you're not it's maintenance free so I'm gonna collect, select the top one and it's an e, EN and this battery has it's 12.5 volts which is okay it has 115 cranking amps which is way below where it should be uh, this is a 640 cranking amp battery and it has an internal resistance of 19.43 milliohms so even though the voltage is okay this battery is probably more or less worthless so this is the battery that i'm gonna take um, and do something about among these small batteries i found that this one is the worst one it has only 12.35 uh, volts uh, 185 cranking amps and an internal resistance of 12.45 so I'm gonna take the little this little battery and try and do something with that as well. The other batteries looked fair enough. They are not new, but they weren't doing too too bad. Now I've been testing all my batteries and I found the bad ones, or oh, they're not all that bad, but they're the worst ones that I got. Uh, let's just say this is probably the, the best of the worst, this Bosch battery. I made a little note for each of them. So if we can see that with the light on, maybe not so good. So that I don't have to measure or test it all the time to remember what it was. So, and if this note should uh, be misplaced, it says that this is the Bosch batteries and the settings for the, the battery analyzer that I've used and the voltage of the battery, the internal resistance and the cranking amp hours over here. And I made a little note for each of them. This is the worst, this is the second worst, this is the third worst and this is the worst. And that was actually, it's a rather big nice battery but it's absolutely 
not doing very well. Definitely not. Not good. So, yeah. Uh-oh, it seems that I didn't record an ending for this video. I did the classic mistake of pressing the camera again and stopping recording. So, well, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And please give me that thumbs up that I always ask you to give me. But um, today might be the day where you'll remember it. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.